Let's talk uh, exponents. So we can take a big number like a thousand and represent it as 10 to the three or 10 cubed, we can call it, or even a bigger number like a billion, 10 to the nine. Uh, and we can manipulate those big numbers by taking advantage of those, of those exponents. Let's see a few examples. Okay, let's talk just a little bit about exponents and their use. So uh, if we write a number like 100, well, in short form with an exponent, we can say that's 10 raised to the power 2, or just 10 squared. 10 raised to the power 2 means 10 times 10, which of course is 100. And you might say, well, what's the use of that? I can always just write 100. Well, at some point, if we go out to a million, well, it gets a bit cumbersome to write. So let's do it as 10 to the 6. Conversely, we could do 1 over 10, or we could write that as 10 to the negative 1. We could do 1 over 1,000. We could do that as 10 to the negative 3. Uh, now, the nice thing about exponents, then, is you can do uh, math by just adding and subtracting. So, for example, 100 times 1 over 10. Well, that's 100 divided by 10, which is just 10. We could have done that as 10 to the squared, so 100, 10 raised to the power of 2, times 10 to the negative 1. And we just add positive 2 and negative 1, so that leaves us 2 minus 1, which is just 1. So 10 to the 1, which is 10. So that opens up the possibility of doing large numbers like 10 to the 10 times 10 squared times 10 to the negative 3. And I can figure that out by taking 10 plus 2, which is 12, 12 minus 3, which is 9. So that's 10 to the ninth. Or it is a lot of zeros. So 10 to the ninth is 1 billion. So 1, 9 zeros is 1 billion, 10 to the ninth, where we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine zeros. Uh, conversely, we could have done uh, 0 0.0000001, uh, and that would write as 10 to the negative 6, where we have six zeros on the other side of the decimal point. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's an introduction to notation using exponents. Acabou.